got three pretty girls up here this morning, though. How about that? All right. I got to find it. I didn't mark my scripture. I was going to read. I had to, had to do that real quick. Stick my finger in there. I got one more spot, actually. While I'm tired, can y'all tell me what this is? What is that? This is actually, it's a heart. That's why I brought it. It's a valentine I made for Cecily. It's got a bunch of sappy stuff on there. I won't let you read that part. <laughs> that shape is a heart, right? Yeah, Hattie likes hearts. She loves, she has hearts on her dress, look. You see it on your side of your dress, Hattie? Yeah. So, of course, we know that the heart uh, in our, bo in our, our body the way God made us, the actual, the actual heart pumps our blood and it gives <coughs> blood flow all through our body. But there's this, what we can associate with what? Usually love, right? This this shape right here. <coughs> this, what, baby? On the wall. You have a heart on the wall? No. I don't know what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway... So we, we think about the heart being like associated with love and, and of course the heart is an organ in your body too that pumps your blood. But all, there was another way of thinking about the heart, and especially in the Bible when it talks about the heart, it's talking about your innermost part of you, okay? It, it's not literal, it's like a, your innermost being, I guess you will. Does that make sense? Y'all understand? Y'all tracking with me? Okay. Well, a lot of times today, you'll hear people say, well, just follow your heart. You know, you need to do what your heart tells you to do. Or just look, 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 you know, look into your heart to guide you. But the Bible says something different. And especially in Jeremiah chapter 17, and verse 9, it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick, and who can understand it? And then... Uh, Verse 10 says, The Lord, I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. So, the Bible tells us different than what, what the people in the world says. We don't follow our heart because ultimately our heart will deceive us. It's wicked and it ultimately will lead us astray. Really, we need to not look to our heart, but we need to look to what the Word of God says. And that'll guide us. Okay. okay, and then there's another part here about hearts. Uh, another uh, few verses about the heart in Romans. So we really don't need to follow our heart because, you know, we are people are sinful. It says also in Romans that uh, all of sin can come short of the glory of God. But in Romans 10... And starting in verse 9, it says, Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart, in your innermost part, that is, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. So we don't have to follow our hearts, but we really need to give our hearts to Jesus. And if we do that and believe in our, in our hearts that he rose from the dead, and that he's the only way for salvation, then we can go to heaven one day. Y'all have anything else to say? Nothing? Y'all ready to circle up and pray? Y'all have anything you want to pray about? <laughs> okay, I'll just lead us in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these girls that's come forward today, Lord. I pray you bless each and every one of them. I pray that you just... Uh, uh, Help them to learn more about uh, your word. And I pray that you just be with us all. Help us all to learn more about your word. And I pray that everything that else is said and done here today will glorify you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray.